right, we're doing this. Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> this should be a nice, quick video if I don't get too long-winded. I uh, took myself a road trip last weekend, rented a car because I didn't want to put a whole bunch of miles on mine, and uh, just drove out. Drove out, 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 out. So, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, but I, was that trip really worth it? Well, I'll, I'll show you what I picked up on the road trip. And uh, you tell me. You tell me. Okay, first up, went to uh, this one store that I go to. They have a nice thing of cheap variants. And I like digging through there every once in a while. I like going there every once in a while and digging through there. Picked up Black Widow Deadly Origin number one. This is a one in one in twenty variant, I believe. This one, I'm not quite sure what this book really goes for. It's done by the ethically and artistically bankrupt artist known as Greg Land, but I like the composition and the var in this variant was only five dollars, so I figured, you know what? Why not let's why not take a chance on that? Why not take a chance? So I uh, picked this up for five dollars. I have no clue what this book really goes for. I've seen it for sale at around fifty to seventy, but it really isn't selling for that. So I don't know, maybe this is a nice book to have in the long run, especially uh, for five dollars. All right. Also from this store, picked up Sinister Spider. I don't know if this okay, is it it's Dark Rain Sinister Spider-Man or Sinister Spider-Man part of the Dark Rain storyline. I don't know, but I like the cover. Nice black suit Spider-Man. This is a different character, uh, but it's still black suit uh Spider-Man. It's a really just nice a uh, simple cover, great looking. Actually, to me, I, it's a very iconic looking image. So, why not pick it up? Uh, paid five dollars for it. Next up is Dark Avengers number one. This is I uh, I forget what year this is from, but first appearance of the Iron Patriot. Iron Patriot cover, another five dollar book. Uh, this is my second copy. I've actually seen copies of this go for around 20 to 30 I believe. But I believe that that's kind of like on a seller's good day. You know what I'm saying? Because there are others that are on eBay right now that are just kind of staying there. So I just figured, you know what? It was $5. I'll pick it up. $5. I'll pick it up. And next up. Now here's a book I knew nothing about. Here's Black Panther. Numbers, I don't know what volume this is, but Blank Panther number six. This is the uh, 1940s variant. You know, girl power is all the rage right now. So, you know, you have a female Black Panther. Uh, punching Nazis. Punching Nazis. This was $5. I don't know anything about this, but it's a nice composition. So I figured I'd pick it up. So, yeah, also from this store, also... From this store, I found uh, some more copies of Thor, God of Thunder, number two and number six. I got those for cover price. Those were hiding out for cover price. So I'm like, okay, all right, all right. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. So I forget how much I paid total. So let's, let's see. Five, ten, fifteen. 20. And then you have, uh, what, 28 bucks? So, all right, no car. All right, all right, all right. okay, all right. So found some more copies of these. First uh, first appearance of something having to do with Venom. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, next up, okay. Now the, main, now the main reason why I went on this road trip was to go to a store, but it turns out for the holiday weekend, the store was closed. So I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. I'm upset. Well, yeah, I was partially upset, but I wound up going to a store that if 
if I hadn't have gone to if I if I had gone to the store that was closed, I would have passed this particular store up. So I uh, I guess I took some lemons and made some lemonade, I guess you can say. And I found a copy, found another copy of uh, Marvel Special Edition number 15. I would say this book is in VF condition. Now, as many of you know, I am a comic book white supremacist, but I'm also a black activist. And is this spine here black activist worthy? Mm -hmm. Kinda, kinda, probably. Mm -hmm. I I suppose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but yeah, I paid. Uh, it's in VF condition. Paid thirty dollars. I figured, you know what? I don't want to pass this book up for thirty dollars, especially in in the condition that it's in. Uh, the back could stand to be cleaned up a little bit, but um. Overall, definitely worth uh, $30. Definitely worth that. All right. Oh, now here's the book. This is the book of the trip for me. This, this, this is what... Ma now, the trip in and of itself wasn't that great, but this made it kind of worthwhile. Uh, this is Magnus, a robot fighter, number one from 1962. 1962 so there's the date right there this is a book that uh i've been trying to upgrade for the longest time uh, i bought a copy about f i want to say about three four years ago but it was in really really ratty condition um, this one is a i would say about i'd say about two notches to a notch and a half better uh, there is kind of like a little thing going on right there. You can see like a little chip missing and you can see that there's fraying. Uh, you can see there's fraying right there in the corner. But ultimately, uh, just a really, it's a solid copy. And I will definitely say I will, I'll hold to this until the conditions change that this is easily, easily, easily the most undervalued Silver Age key issue out there. And I'm talking out of the thousands and tens of thousands of Silver Age books out there, this is definitely the most undervalued, especially when it comes to first appearances and uh, first issues and all that kind of stuff. Easily the most undervalued book uh, especially of the Silver Age, especially. Um, I mean, like this book means so much to me just because I'm such a valiant fan. And just to have a first appearance, a Silver Age first appearance, ugh, ugh. Cause, I mean, it, 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 I think it was because of Magnus Robot Fighter, he helped to create the valiant universe of the 90s, the character. So to have like the first appearance is just, it, to me, this is a big deal and this means a lot to me, so... I got a uh, slight upgrade. It's a, it's a, it's a really solid. It's really solid. So I paid uh, the price on it was one twenty, but there was a sale, so I got this for ninety dollars. Definitely worth it. it. Was a no brainer. So yeah, got you for ninety dollars, and you were worth it. You were definitely worth it by far. Hell yeah, very happy. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper, y'all. All right, uh, next up, I uh, went to a store. Really didn't find much. I, like, past experiences and past visits to the store, I found a lot of stuff, but I don't know, man. It seems like the collectors and the speculators and all that kind of stuff, they're, they're out in full force now. And I have to clean this lens off. It's looking a little foggy. But... Um, I don't know. I'm not finding too much by way of, uh, you know, just really, really cool comics, especially at this store. Not anymore. But I did happen to find two copies of Venom Space Knight number 12. First appearance of the first host? Tell Car? That's... Hmm? Whenever I hear that name, Tell Car, I think of Telma Hopkins from Give Me a Break. 
and family matters. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, found these for cover price or close to cover price. So, all right, okay. One is in slightly lower, lesser condition. I think there's like a little rip right there, but got them for cover price. So, okay, all right, it's all good. It's all good. That's all good. All right, next up, I uh, went to another store, found some books that I kind of crossed off my want list. Uh, two copies of Ame Kami Girls, if I'm pronouncing that right. Ame Kami Girls, number four. This uh, this seems to me of the regular, the non-variant issues. These seem, uh, number four, I think this is volume one, number four. This seems to be the hardest to find issue. This features Power Girl. There aren't any on eBay right now, from what I understand, or from, from the last time I checked. So, uh, really tough book to find. Not expensive book to find. I mean, not an expensive book, but a tough book to find. So, uh, M.A. Kami Girls, number four, featuring Power Girl. Uh, also found two copies of Doom Patrol, number 19. Uh, first appearance of Crazy Jane. Uh, what did I want to say about this? I was watching Y85. Uh, he um, he had shown these. He had shown off a copy. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'll, I'll try to find it. So yeah, got it. I think it was uh, I think it was four dollars or something like that for each one. So all right, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Next up, I uh, went to another store. Went to another store and found this variant right here. I really don't know that much about it, but it was like, uh, I want to say it was $9, either 9 or $10. This is The Ultimates. Uh, I don't know what volume this is. I think this is The Ultimates Volume 2, Volume 2. Number 6, this is a uh, Galactus variant. I figure, you know what, I pick, I'll pick it up. Uh, uh, this looks like a no that's not a Simone Bianchi it's a different artist but it's a different enough cover to catch my attention so I figured nah okay I'll buy it for 10 bucks all right next up next up next up next up next up next up is a book that I've been searching for we have Justice League Adventures number 13 uh, first appearance of All Star. And now this is a Toys R Us uh, exclusive or a, like a Toys R Us giveaway or whatever. Uh, found this for three dollars. It's in probably fine condition. There are spine ticks along. There are spine ticks uh, going up and down, but um, I found it was like three dollars. Um, it was cheap enough, and. I'm not quite sure what this book really goes for because there are a couple on eBay right now that are at $50, but, you know, those are buy it nows and nobody's buying them. So, you know, I, there's no way I'm paying $50, but I'll pay three. I'll definitely pay three. So, yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. All right, uh, next up is a variant that I had been looking for. I picked this up for cover price, actually. This is G.I. Joe number 18. Uh, there is a lot of talk about a Snake Eyes movie. A G.I. Joe spinoff Snake Eyes movie. And uh, I don't know. Like I had eyeballed this book once before and then I put it back. And then there was talk of the Snake Eyes movie. And then I noticed that the prices for this was going were going up. And I went back for this variant and it was gone. I'm like, ah, shit. But I go to a different store and it's there and it's a cover price. So, you know what? It's a no-brainer. Let me go buy it. So, yeah, got it. Uh, this is the IDW G.I. Joe number 18. So, all right. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, what is this? I found a copy for cover price. This is, or I think it was like $5. G.I. Joe, uh, number 255. This is like a, was it celebrating 100 issues at IDW? Okay, uh, G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number 255. This is a, I don't know what ratio variant this is, but the last time I checked, it was going for like 20 bucks. So, all right. Okay, it's all good. Okay. All right, now we have ourselves a first appearance alert. 
a first appearance alert yes sir or a buy it now i don't know but uh i was trolling ebay uh, uh yeah it was last week i was trolling ebay last week and i saw this i saw this variant right here this is green lantern uh, from the 2005 series and this is number 40 this is a 1 in 25 variant um, I bought this for, like I had seen it. it, there was a sale for it, it was like, uh, it was like $9 or something like that, and when I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, this cover is so beautiful, I have to get this, so I found a copy for like $8 plus shipping, and I know this book is kind of tough to find, because when I went on a little road trip, I tried to find this variant, and it was there weren't any to be found out in the wild. So I uh, picked this up for $8 uh, shipped, which was, to me, it was a great price. And uh, so this is Green Lantern number 40, 1 in 25 variant, featuring this character right here. Uh, her name is Fatality. Uh, created by the uh, crazy SJW, uh, rabid SJW, uh, Ron Mars. But hey, what are you going to do? A character, character's first appearance is a character's first appearance. And the first appearance is in uh, Green Lantern. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what volume this is, but Green Lantern number 83. And you know, what? I'll show you. I'll show you. Hell with it. I thought this was going to be a short video. Damn. All right. So here is the character right there. And this is her at the end of the issue. And this book, I mean, this this issue really doesn't go for a lot. And it's a first appearance. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout. And this book is really not expensive by damn sight but at the same time uh like uh when i went to search for this variant i searched for this and this book is nowhere to be found out in the wild you know what i'm saying well at least where i looked at least where i looked so yeah really tough book to find not expensive because there are cheap copies on ebay right now so but yeah green lantern number 83 first appearance of fatality and this is her as a star as a star sapphire. So yeah. yeah. I love this cover so much, man. Totally in love with this cover. All right. We're moving along. So yeah, we got ourselves a first appearance. First appearance. Uh next up, now I said to myself I wasn't gonna buy any more uh variants, especially new variants, but you know what? I'm like, eh, this is like twenty dollars, so why not venom first host and it ties into the venom space night so i'm like yeah what are you gonna do uh oh what are you gonna do so yeah um also i picked this up yesterday picked this up yesterday i swear i this weekend has been really terrible by way of comics like searching for comics i've i've hit like this weird rut where i've re i've reached uh, diminishing returns when it comes to searching for comics, you know, where, uh, where I drive out to a cluster of stores, I'm wasting time, I'm wasting gas, I'm wasting miles, I'm wasting money, and, uh, you know, going to this store, going to that store, and, oh my god, I went to a store yesterday, I bought a Spidey Super Stories number 39, it was like five dollars, I'm thinking, probably even VG condition, no big deal. I'll pay $5. I take it home and take it out of the bag. And on the back cover, there is like a little order form or something like a coupon or order form. And the coupon is, or slash order form is cut out of it. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, I'm struggling to find something to buy at this store. And I buy this for $5. I'm thinking, OK, no big deal. And that, and I'm just like, oh, you gotta be, oh, like, there's a, like a lot of you gotta be kidding me's. <laughs> so I'm just completely disgusted. Like I would show you guys, but I'm just so disgusted. I can't even, I can't even stand to show you. So uh, that happened. And so I just wasted $5 there. I wasted, you know, the half hour that 
I'm searching through there. I'm wasting a good half hour. I could be at home, you know what I'm saying, or at another store. So, yeah, I'm just like, ugh. It feels like I'm just spinning my wheels. There is a convention coming up. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I might just kind of sit home, you know, go to work, come home, and just kind of let my car heal up a little bit and then maybe take a drive out to a convention or something like that in the uh, upcoming weeks but damn is the <laughs> that was really frustrating okay but i found a copy of star wars number 107 this is a book i really don't plan on holding on to i plan on getting it graded and then just kind of letting it go this book doesn't mean anything to me but um what did i want to say picked it up for 16 dollars, and with the five dollars that i wasted we could say i paid 21 dollars for that Damn it. That really makes me mad. But anyway, uh, we also have another, we have another, we have another first appearance. We have another first appearance. And that is, uh, that is for Galacta. Galacta, the daughter of Galactus. I bought this one shot about four years, either four, three or four years ago. And I was operating off of the assumption that this was the first appearance in daughter, Galacta, daughter, the daughter, Jesus, Galacta, daughter of Galactus, one shot. And I was wrong. I was just, I don't know. I was just kind of thinking about it the other day. I was like, how much does this book go for now? And it turns out that this book, and in my search, it turns out this not the first appearance. This is the first appearance right here, which is Marvel Assistant Size Spectacular number two. And this is from 2009. And I, I think the, the angle on it was that you let assistant editors uh, do stories. I don't know whatever 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 but uh it features this features the actual first appearance of the character now this actual now this book here um the galacta one shot the price on this fluctuates a lot so sometimes it'll go for a dollar sometimes it'll go for thirty dollars sometimes it'll go for ten uh to twenty then back up to thirty it is it depends on the day and the luck of the seller. Um this is a very very volatile book if you want to look at it like a stock. Uh Marvel Super Marvel oh, Jesus Marvel this is so sounds so dumb. Marvel Assistant Size Spectacular. Um I noticed that on eBay all of the cheap copies have been bought up. I didn't buy up. I didn't buy them all up. I didn't. I bought like maybe one. <laughs> I bought like one, but um, what did I want to say? Uh, like online and on eBay, all of the close to cover price issues had been bought up. And what's left now are like, you know, $16 copies, $20 copies. And even like the $20 copies, some people have bought those. So uh, I think this is a really cool book. And when I went on my road trip, I went uh, looking for this and i they weren't there weren't any to be found out in the wild much like uh the uh green lantern number 83 so yeah this is a just a cool book to kind of keep your eyes peeled for so so yeah so yeah <laughs> marvel assistant size spectacular number 2 now the thing about this now we have about there's about 5 pages that uh five pages of art and story that are in here which make up the first five pages of this so it's not like a completely different story although we get a really i like this cover a lot i, I really dig this cover and she looks way cooler here than on that cover she looks like a fucking doof so yeah i really dig this cover even though of uh, the pages are kind of similar you know it's not like its own it's not like its own story here and then a completely different story so it borrows the pages from this and goes into that but anyway you see what i'm saying but yeah marvel assistant size spectacular number two yeah all right next up is 
of G.I. Joe uh, Special Missions number one. I actually I bought this book a few months ago, but I wanted to stave off uh, showing it just because I wanted to find a couple more um, special missions issues. So this is a Jim Rugg variant. I don't know the ratio on this. I paid uh, $15 for it. Sometimes uh, the last time I checked, this book went for I think like $60 or something like that. So I'm like, okay, all right, I'll buy that. Because I first off, I, I'm I'm a huge fan of Jim Rugg's art. It's uh, it's very simplistic. He did like um, he did a uh, a graphic novel called uh, Street Angel, and he also did uh, Aphrodisiac um, about like a street like a, like this uh, street hustler. Um, from the seventies, I like that's literally one of my favorite things in the whole world. I love reading it, so and I dig his art, and uh, picked this up for fifteen dollars. Also, I got a copy online, um, GI Joe Special Missions number two. I really like this cover. I think I paid like uh, six or seven for this. Uh, so you have what is this? Oh, okay. So you got Cobra Commander, Baroness, and Destro, Roadblock, and another guy. I'm going to assume that's Snake Eyes. <laughs> but yeah, I love that cover. And you also have uh, uh, G.I. Joe Special Missions number four. Um, I I mean, you just you, you see what I'm seeing. So <laughs> I can't even describe it. You see what I'm seeing. But I just really, I dig Jim Rugg's art. And uh, you mix that up with uh, G.I. Joe. Can't go wrong, right? Uh, next up, I found, uh, last but not least, I found some more variants. I probably I paid $10 a piece for these. I probably should have waited until the, a sale where I could have gotten these off half price. But I don't know. I'm, I'm a very hasty guy. I, I don't like waiting. So I found uh, G.I. Joe number 20. This is a ooh, 1 in 15 or 1 in 25 variant. It's just a, I really dig this cover a lot. There's one on eBay right now that is for sale at like $99 or best offer. And I found this one for $10. Probably could could have or should have waited. But again, I don't like waiting. This is G.I. Joe number 6 uh, featuring Cover Girl. I don't know what uh, ratio this is, but uh, it's a variant, and why not? So, yeah. All right, I guess that's it. That's it. So, a, a quicker than usual uh, video, and uh, yeah, I have no clue where, when, and where I will find some more books, but damn it, I'll try. I'll try to find some more comics. All right, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, bye.